Sun Jian will take the lead. And Yuan Shu shall provide support. We leave before daybreak. Generals, good fortune in battle. Lord Yuan Shu, I am counting on you. Farewell. Common swine. You won't be so smug for long. Alright, so I'm going to skip the narration. And now, the Battle of Sichui Gate. Alright, so this time, I'm going to go and play as... You know what? Let's play as Shuju. And I'm pretty sure I show off the second model, but if I didn't for some weird reason, then here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon, we have a spike club at level 4. The items, I'm going to keep the same. The bodyguards are at 8. The objectives are the same. We have to defeat Li Jue, and we can't allow either myself or you want to shout the fall or the time running out. The unit info. For the Allied forces, you have Yuan Shao and Zheng He, Yuan Shu, Gan Su Sun, Xiao Xiao, Xiao Yuan, and Xu Xu, which is me, Sun Jian and Sun Se, Liu Bei and Zhuge Liang. For Dong Zhuo's forces, you have Li Dui, Li Meng, and Yan Fang, Guo Se, Li Ru, Hua Xiang, Hu Zhen, and Zhao Sen, Wang Cho and Wang Fang, Nao Fu, Gao Xun, and Li Su. Alright. Let's do it. And same concept. Shit ton of KOs, shit ton of points, and we gotta be fucking fast with it. So, we'll see how fast I can pull off this one. This is a just battle to punish the traitors that ravaged this land. All forces, march for Sea Gate. All right, we'll go for these two first. Let's look right here. And he is down. There we go. in front of Sishui Gate. We request provisions for the coming battle with the enemy. Alright, now Gao Shu. Even if I send the supplies now, the glory will be all Sun Xiao. Do not send the supply convoy now. I smash the There you go. Alright. We must not fall behind. Yeah, that was a fail. Uh, where the hell is he? What the fuck was that? Oh, okay, now that kind of makes sense. I was gonna say, a random horse just coming out of fucking nowhere. But anyway, so we defeated... Uh, yeah, we defeated Li Su and Gao Shu. Now, now, fool. Now food's down. And something tells me I might have to go all the way around to, uh... I mean, that's the easy part right there. It's just getting back. And, uh... I don't think that's gonna happen. So, I actually have to go all the way around. And, uh, this is going to be new to me because I'm going inside Sea Street Gate, Sea Street Gate, wow, uh, without the gate even being opened yet. So, 
I'm going to do what I can here. Defeat some troops. Then go up to the north and secure the supply compound over there. But uh, I don't even know what's really going to happen. <laughs> but the fact I'm going through this way. I'm sure going to have a good opportunity to uh, get a ton of KOs, so I am definitely going to use that to my advantage. Alright. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, Zhao Sen is down. Jen is down. Li Meng is down. We must not fall behind. All right, now I can get the fuck out of here. I smash them. We must not fall behind. But uh, I am definitely gonna go and secure the supply compound over there. That way it will be a little bit easier for Soon Jian to defeat Hua Xiang. And uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, but I'll say it again. Fun fact, according to real history, Soon Jian is the one that defeats Hua Xiang and kills him at Sishui Gate. Obviously, according to the story, it's Guan Yu. So, a little difference here and there. But anyway, so I'm going to go to the the left now and uh, defeat Liru, uh, Wosa, and then Wang Fang and Fan Chou. Hopefully, I won't have to worry about dueling Hua Xiang, but if I do, then that's fine. I'm not gonna cry about it, but uh, I personally prefer not dueling him. But that's just me though. Anyway, so if you want to have uh, Hua Xiang challenge you to a duel, you actually have to have Soon Jian retreat from Si Shui Gate. And then, like this, basically. Are there no warriors here that can defeat Hua Xiang? Then if you see that dialogue with Yu Wan Xiao, the next time you approach Hua Xiang, he'll challenge you to a duel. And, uh, yeah, Wu Xiao's down. That was an epic flop. Fucking Rat Pack. You know what? This is a better idea. to the supply compound and then uh, after that defeat Hua Xiong and then end the stage. How many sub generals did I defeat anyway? I defeated, okay, I defeated all of Hua Xiong's officers, not all of Li Jue, and then uh, we still have uh, Wang Fong and Fan Chou to deal with. So. Not that bad. Anyway. Ah, there is a road there. We can attack the enemy supply depot from there. So Wong Fong will be over here. Wong is down. Now Fan Chou. Wow, look. Um, it's Lord Sun Jia. 
son needs some food for his troops. Von Cho's down. And now Dong Bin arrived, and we get the fuck out of here. And then we'll defeat Hua Xiong, go for Dong Bin, and hopefully we'll be able to defeat Leech Wei and not have him retreat. Because, uh, to this day, I have no real idea on how Leech Wei retreats in this stage. I mean, the only thing I know that could easily trigger it is defeating Hua Xiong. Because uh, if you're playing the stage under Dong Zhuo's forces, and if you allow them to defeat Hua Xiong, then he'll start to prepare for the retreat. Then he'll retreat, and then he'll lose. Well, you'll lose. Even if you're playing the stage as Dong Zhuo, obviously under Dong Zhuo's forces, if Li Jue retreats, despite the fact that you're playing as Dong Zhuo, you'll automatically lose if he retreats. Doesn't make any sense, but uh, I just go, you know, I I just go with it. But anyway, let's just challenge Wash Young to a duel. Well, let him challenge us to a duel, defeat him, and move on. So here we go. I'm not that fully concerned. I mean, unless something really crazy happens. Really? Holy shit! That wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, I totally forgot on how slow Shuju could be at sometimes, and uh, that really fucking backfired. But you know what? That's fine. I'll still defeat uh, Dong Min and uh, Yang Fong. And Hua Xiang is almost down anyway, so. And Dong Min is down. What's with everybody fucking running away for? Yang Fong, and then, uh, holy shit, their defense is fucking high. Young, so I should just go for lead way now before he retreats. Yeah, no toying around this time. I'm just gonna go for him.
that will help a lot. And he is down. And that's a win. Alright. So. That's one of the very few times that I actually have defeated Li Jue. Because every time I try to go for him, he winds up fucking retreating. But anyway. So. We completed that stage in 11 minutes and 14 seconds. Not that bad. I mean, we're still under the 20 minute mark. We're pretty much on point with everything. So I'm not that fully concerned yet. I'd rather keep it that way. But anyway. Items, I doubt I got anything good. Our kill count is 194, which isn't that bad. It is our lowest amount throughout this Musa mode so far. But uh, obviously we're still above the uh, 200 KO average or more. I believe we're still, we might be around the uh, 300 still. I don't know. But uh, our worthy opponent count is 13. We could have made it 14, but eh. It's all good. I'll make it up in some way, shape, or form with the points. Because we only got 3,808 points. So, that'll be more than enough to get the rank 8, and that's it. Alright. The weapon experience. 2,912 points. More than enough to get to level 5, and we still need a good 3,397 points before we get to level 6. But that's for another time. Anyway, uh, bodyguards I can really give two shits about because they're at max. We will save, and let's continue. Alright, now the Battle of Hulao Gate. And this time, I'm going to go and play as, uh, let's go and play as DM Wei. And I'm pretty sure I show off a second model, but I'm going to show off again. So here we go. Alright, so the equipment, the weapon, we have a strike axe at level 5. The items, huh, yeah, let's keep that. The bodyguards are at 8. The objectives are the same. We have to defeat Dong Zhuo. And we can't allow either myself or you want Shao to fall or the time we're running out. The unit info for the ally forces you have Yuan Shao, Yang Liang, and Wen Cho. Yuan Shu, Gan Sun San, Xiao Xiao, Xiao Yi, Xiao Dun. Why am I thinking Xiao Yuan? Xiao Dun and Dian Wei, which is me. Sun Jian and Gan Ning, Liu Bei. And Wei Yan. For Dang Zhuo's forces, you have Dang Zhuo, Nao Fu, Fan Cho, and Wang Fang, Li Ru, and Xu Rong, Li Jue, and Jia Xu, Wu Se, and Li Meng, Diao Chan, and Dong Min, and Gao Xun. And obviously, if you haven't unlocked Zhang Liao yet, then will be Zhang Liao. Even in the Battle of Si Shui Gate, when we play that stage, if you haven't unlocked Zhang Liao at that time, then he'll be there instead of Dong Min. But for the fact that we unlocked Zhang Liao, then Dong Min will be here. If you play in free mode, obviously, then Zhang Liao will be there as well. But uh, anyway, enough of that. Let's do it. And same concept. Shit ton of KOs, shit ton of points, and be fucking fast with it. Um, my only real concern is Lu Bu. Well, my main concern really is Lu Bu. But I'll just uh, worry about that later. I mean, I am playing it on normal, so it'll be a little bit easier to defeat Lupu. Not that easy, but still easy in comparison, nonetheless. Alright. 
Alright, Shurong is down. Now we'll go for Liru. And enough of the cheap shot charge attack bullshit. Alright, Lee Ru is down. Now I'll head to the right and defeat Lee Meng and Guo Se, then up to the north and defeat Gao Xun and uh, Thung Min. I don't know why I was saying Zhang Liao or thinking Zhang Liao, but I mean, yeah, he does appear here if you haven't unlocked him yet, but... Anyway, so we'll go and defeat Guo Se and Lee Meng and then... Uh, do the same spiel, go up to the north and defeat. You know, I already said it already, but you know what? Fuck it. Let me just defeat them. Alright, Lee Mung is down. Sir's down. Now I'll go for, you know, I already said it, but anyway. Uh, Dongmin will be over here. So, Gao Shun will be somewhere over here, and we'll defeat him first. Because, obviously, if we defeat Dong Min before Gao Shun, then Gao Shun will start to retreat. And if he's not anywhere near the map or anywhere near you, then he will automatically disappear. Hard to believe, but anyway. I mean, there might be a few occasions where you might see him run away, or her, depending on who the officer is. But, uh, anyway. So, Gao Shun is down. Now I'll go for Dong Min and wait for the gate to open or watch it open now. And then, uh, I think you already know what's going to happen here. Lu Bu is going to appear. But, uh, I'll face him in a bit. Did they? They did. Wow. I was going to say, did they defeat Dong Min? Well, that makes things a little bit easier on my end. Is that who I think it is? It's Lubu! Lubu come to destroy us! <gasps> Alright. So we'll charge for Lubu. Every time that you run into Lubu in this stage, he'll automatically challenge you to a duel. Uh if you're playing this stage on normal or harder, then attacking Lubu will pretty much do absolutely nothing unless you use a true Musu attack because he won't flinch at all. If you're playing it on easy, however, it'll be a lot easier, obviously. But um, I'm definitely going to throw the duel and not have him hit me with a fucking wide range attack like that. So, yeah, time to throw the duel, and then, uh, it'll, hopefully, I don't even know what Dian Wei's, uh, rank is, but it should be low enough where my allies will still gain morale. Because at a certain point, the allied morale, oh, fuck, okay, there we go. Uh, if you tie in a duel... At a certain point, at a certain rank, the allied morale will actually drop instead of increase. Yeah, that is so not happening. And there we go. Fucking awesome. Alright, now, here's the hard part. Let's see. Oh, okay. There we go. I was going to say, I think I picked a character who's 
true moves to attack will launch Blue Boo up in the air instead, which will result in a little less damage than normal. But, uh, nah, I'm set. Good, not great, could be a little better. So, my trick is pretty much run away, fill up my Musu Gauge, come back, then hit Lubu with another true Musu attack, rinse and repeat. Because none of my attacks will actually flinch Lubu. Uh, maybe my charge attack will, but it's really not worth it. It's not. And plus, he's actually pretty smart about it, where he will uh, jump up in the air and do a charge attack to counter it. I'll show it off real quickly, but, I mean, watch. I'm going to show it off, and then he'll fucking, uh... You know what? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Fuck that. I'll grab health first. Because he could actually reach me, and Dian Wei is not the fastest character in the world. But fortunately enough, he's not the slowest either. And also note, if you're trying to defeat Lu Bu on normal or hard mode, do not, I mean, unless you know how to do it properly, don't play a Sal Ren. Because even his true Musu attack won't flinch Lupu, which is very, very rare. Most true Musu attacks will flinch Lupu. True Musu attacks, I'm saying, not regular Musu attacks. Regular Musu attacks won't flinch Lupu at all. I mean, depending on the character, too, sometimes. But uh, true Musu attacks will usually do it. As you can see, he's flinching. Um, yeah, time to book it. And uh, I'll grab the health over here. Um, okay. Anyway, let me try to show off that little thing that I was going to show off, but I didn't really show it off yet. And then uh, we'll try to defeat Lubu. Yeah, you see? Lubu ain't stupid. He'll do that to counter it. And uh, I'm pretty sure you don't want him to counter it because he'll still hurt you regardless. So, anyway. And on the bright side, Lubu's almost down anyway, so. That is, the fucking god captain doesn't block up like a fucking fortress. There you go. You know what, just wait. There you go. Yeah, I gotta be a little more patient this time because, uh... I gotta remember that fucking... Ugh, what the fuck? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fortunately, there's health. Shit. Um, let me find a good place to run because my uh, capturing device is about to turn to pitch black. I don't know if you saw that. And unfortunately, I am still running away from Lu Bu. Okay, that should be good. So I will be right back. One second. All right, I'm back. And <laughs> you know what irks me more than fucking up on the recording or fucking up on a part? 
fucking technical difficulties. That's the worst thing in the world. So, I'm just gonna go and fill up my Musa Gage and defeat Lubu very quickly before, uh. It seems like Lubu's on the run too. Because he wants to go and defeat Wei Yan. But, obviously, he's gonna have me to deal with now. And maybe I should bring out my bodyguards. Eh. Yeah, time to book it. Shit, where the fuck did he come from? Maybe I should pay attention more to my fucking map. And why is he going around in a little fucking circle? Yeah, let's be careful because he could actually reach me. That's the fucking scary part, that he could actually catch up and reach me. Maybe I should have picked two slow characters back to back. Shit! Now I know I really shouldn't have picked two char slow characters back to back. And I love it for the fact that Lubu's only going for me. So, I'm just going to have to go all the way back and grab that full thing of health over here. Oh, it's not full, but it'll be enough to completely fill up my health meter. If I could find it. There you go. After waiting a year and two-thirds to find it, now I'll go and defeat Lil Boo. Yeah, I'm taking Lubu's horse. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. Because uh, that horse is way faster, and I still have the effect of the shadow harness. So it's a win-win. Whoops. Nice try. Alright. Two more true Musu attacks should do it. Should. Not will. Then we'll go for Diao Chan. Defeat her. And then go on. Nice try. Two fucking true Musu attacks in a fucking row. What the actual fly motherfucker? That's gonna backfire. Okay. Whew. I honestly thought that was gonna fucking backfire on me. Okay. Now, one Musu attack will do it. Goodbye. Alright, that was the hard part. And even that. How interesting. Everything else should be easy from here on. We must not fall behind. Alright. Now that's taken care of. 
I'll grab the dim sum and the musu wine and then uh, move on. So, one of them is up here. There's the musu wine and then the dim sum will be on the other side. There we go. Alright. Yeah, let's grab some health before I fight DL Chan. I'm not going to be that fully concerned facing DL Chan. It's just, uh. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Plus, I've seen really stupid shit in my time. So, I'd rather do it now. Alright, DL Chan is down. Let us meet again. Now, the million dollar question. Should I go for officers or should I try to get as many KOs as I can and get to Dong Zhuo? Hmm. I could always do both, but I know for a fact if I do this then Dong Zhuo might get away. Burn the city and keep the invaders out. As long as my dream comes to fruition, I can sacrifice a capital city or two. So now, Wang Fong. I don't think I'm gonna do jack shit, really, because uh, Yuan Shao is now on the move. And uh, he will eventually retreat Dong Zhuo. Because uh, if we skip the battle of Hulao Gate or skip Wang Xiang altogether at the battle of Sishui Gate, then uh, he'll appear here and uh, it'll halt, not only halt Yuan Shao from moving forward, but also, uh, I'm trying to find the right words, wow. I just lost my train of thought, but uh, I'll go for Jia Xu in the process and uh, think about it when I get there. But uh, wow, he actually retreated really fucking early. But, uh, yeah, if Hua Xiang appeared here, then it also delay Dong Zhuo's retreat. Looks like Dong Zhuo didn't want to be around. And I'm pretty much the only person really inside the fucking city, so I don't get it. I'll try to defeat Li Jue before uh, Dong Zhuo retreats. I don't think it's going to happen though because uh, the troops are attacking in a synchronized formation, which usually sucks. Never mind, I just defeated Li Jue. And that's a win, again. So, yeah, that was pretty strange. I mean, I didn't see Dong. I have never seen Dong Zhuo retreat that quickly. But anyway, so maybe for the fact that 
Eh. I mean, I have been playing the Battle of Hulao Gate first in Act 2 lately. So, who knows? Anyway, we completed the stage in 16 minutes and 40 sec uh, 47 seconds. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we're still under the 20 minute mark, which is great. Uh, KO count, however, the average dropped quite a bit, I'm guessing. I mean, I haven't done the math yet, obviously, but uh, going from 300 to 400 to 300 KOs in the first act, now to being under 200 KOs on both battles, being around 190-something in the battle of Steve Gate, and now... 137 here it's obviously gonna drop I really want to try to get my average to 300 throughout the entire Musa mode but I don't know if that's really gonna happen our KO count like I said is 137 or will the opponent count is 10 uh, we could have been a lot more but I think we already know what happened there the uh, point total is 6,503 points so we're still above that 4,000 mark and that's more than enough to get the rank 7 and I think that's it and now we can equip a third item the DM way and we also unlocked his uh, third and fourth models yeah we're a bit shy of points for rank 6 but we'll definitely get there the next time I play as DM way so look out for that anyway the weapon experience total is 2,554 points we're not gonna even get the rank 6 Wow that's uh yeah so we still need 1,978 more points to get the rank well, rank level 6 with the anyways weapon Wow anyway bodyguards I really give two shits about because they're at max we will save and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you in the next part where we will take on the next act and then uh, do the same shit from there. So, peace out.